just notice when you feel like you're stagnant and you know, ask yourself, is my desire for God still there? Is my longing for God still there? Is my longing to do with my emotions still there? You know, do I really have this passion for God? This is, because this is what it's all about, really, in the end. I just add to that too that if you haven't, be honest with it. Because I haven't. I've got a lot of anger towards God, and it doesn't help trying to basically bullshit yourself to tell yourself this is what I should be doing. Mm. I should be loving God. I should be desiring God. Well, I just don't. And I've got a lot of anger about, like, that's why. And I need to confront all that. Feeling like just left and desolate and abandoned and things like that, and a lot of anger towards what happened. So just, if you if you feel honest. angry, just go for it. Yeah. yeah. Tell God about that. Yeah. God just wants honesty. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. A moment of craziness, perhaps. <laughs> I don't have any recall of that, but it's not really a wise choice, it feels like. <laughs> it's a party trick or something. It's not really smart. Uh, I don't know, maybe, like the gentleman said over here, maybe it's. I think I'll, I'll rewind back to when I was talking to AJ for about four hours that day. I was, um, asking him, so I don't like religious stuff really at all. I was brought up as a Catholic, and, but I'm not really into any of that and just didn't resonate with me. I didn't really have any draw towards God or couldn't even say the word about three years ago. And Jesus, I just called the J man. I was about all as far as I go there. Um, I thought he was cool, like as in the like, religious side, I thought that guy was alright. Um, <laughs> I used to like story time at churches and stuff, but I kind of love the moral sort of stuff. They were okay. I used to like going home even better. That was awesome. Um, <laughs> but um, so I was asking him about this 14. I was saying, why are they all these religious dudes and stuff like that? It started getting a bit annoyed, like he's just a religious you know, freak that wants to like say all these, you know, religion's the way to go, or so something like that. And I was asking him, why wouldn't, sort of like, I don't know much about religion, I'll just throw them out there, Muhammad, why wouldn't Muhammad come back, and why wouldn't Allah, whatever that is, come back, or why wouldn't Krishna, I don't know any of these things, I'm probably all wrong saying them, but all these other um, people that other religions look up to or something like that, so why wouldn't they come back? You know, why was it there's these certain few? And he explained to me, because they understood about divine truth, they've gone down that path, whereas the other ones haven't understood it, and about God, the truth about that. And um, that kind of made sense at the time. Um, I really lost track where I was going to now. <laughs> Why you come back? Yeah. Mm. I was going to say something, but I forget it. It's to do with that he discussion. feels he was misled by me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I where I was going with that, but I've just totally lost it. I, I have memories of what actually happened in the spirit world when we all decided to come back. But at the moment, I haven't talk, talked to them, talked to the rest of the 14 about them because I want them to. They need to do all of their own emotional work, and and if I tell them things, then there's you know it's like when you get told things sometimes, you know you have a tendency then to go along and believe that for a bit, um, not trusting your own emotional experience. So it's really important the 14 trust their own emotional experience just like you do, and so uh, I haven't said much to them about it. Remembered. Um, <laughs> it's like I was saying about the gentleman over here saying how. You know, all these other ones that have come back, you know, they're all in sort of a good position and a good place, and people kind of looked up to them a little bit, whereas me, they, who did, sort of thing, everybody hated me, really, right to the very end, so. I loved you, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, so it's just, I suppose it's in a way, I can see it now, I understand why that decision would be made, is to show people it's possible from any, any, condition in life, you know, to, to work through stuff and still, because love's real, you know, it took me a long time to realise that, even now it's still a hard concept, was not allowed to come in, um, just because of the injury stuff and getting through that, um, so it's possible for absolutely everybody, not just people, you know, that are supposed to be up there, all, you know, that people think are important, the most unimportant person can get it, and have be loved. There's this common concept that uh, the people in the spirit world that are the most um, developed are those, the ones that are the most famous. <laughs> and the truth is that uh, the people in the spirit world that are the most developed are actually 
just common people mm -hmm. and many of them you would have never ever heard of in history there's not even a word written down about them in history um, and some of the ones who have returned some of the 14 who have returned you would have never ever heard of um, in your in your day to day life or in the bible record or in the history record and yet they uh, have had the development, the longing, the longing for God's love to enter them, so strong that they develop more rapidly than any other pe many other people, the majority of other people, obviously, uh, in history. So, so you know, understand that the way God selects things is not the way you often think. Um, the way we often think is, oh, that person's got that amazing ability, and that person's got that amazing gift, and that aren't they so special? But often, from God's perspective, you're even more special. Just acknowledging that they're special, and many times those people that you're pointing at, saying they're special, wouldn't even acknowledge you. So therefore, they are actually, in God's eyes, they are lesser than you in the sense of they have less love within them than you do. You understand? So you see, the way God sees everything is via this love condition, not not via what we see as valuable. It's very important to understand that.